In this video, we'll look at a specific example using turtle graphics. You see on the screen a square that has circles at each of the corners. So we are going to draw that square using the turtle graphics. Now I'm, I've included in the center here the origin so that we can, uh, we can see where zero, zero is. So you don't, we don't have to draw the plus here in the middle. We just, we'll just draw the circle. But since this does act as a Cartesian coordinate system, then this circle over here certainly is a positive x, positive y, and over here it'll be a negative y, I mean negative x, positive y, and so on. So anyway, let's, uh, let's use this as our guide. This is our design, and we want to write a program in Python using, cur uh, using our turtle graphics to draw it out. And this time, we want to make sure that we include all of our commands in a file. So what we're going to do is we're just going to open up a file and we're going to save all the commands. Now I've done part of that already. So I'm going to bring in what I've done and this way we don't have to type all those things in. This program already includes a bunch of comments. So you see the, the hashtag representing a comment. So we have some uh, uh, Python turtle graphics example or examples here. And what I have done in comments is to include all of the different turtle commands that we've used so far. So you can see them here, and that's a nice summary for you as a reference as you're trying to draw things. There are a couple of new things at the bottom. Uh, we have put, well, let's go to the top first. We have to do the import turtle, and that is necessary for us to have access to all of these commands, forward, backward, right, left, and so on. So we do have to import the turtle library into our program. Then down here, in order to activate the turtle graphics screen, we do the turtle.get screen, and that opens the, the window for the drawing. And I've done something here that is going to be a shortcut. And instead of having to type turtle in front of everything, we can do this. We can bring in a shortcut so that we can assign this variable t the same thing as turtle. So when we're, do, when we're doing our drawing commands, I don't have to write out turtle every time. Then I can just use t. So for example, I could use t.forward or t.write and so on. And that just cuts down on the typing a little bit. Now here are the instructions for drawing. We want to draw a square. Okay, the square has solid circles at the corners, and it will be centered about the origin, and it will be 400 pixels for, uh, on each of the sides, and then the solid circles at the corners will be fixed 50 pixels in diameter. Now, this is a pretty simple diagram. You know, it's a pretty simple drawing. So we can figure out as we go along what we need to do in order to draw this. But as the um, other diagrams and other um, images or whatever we're trying to draw here, as those become more complicated, it may be necessary to write down what we need to do in sort of a design, write down the steps before we just start to write uh, turtle commands. But for the time being, we'll just uh, make this up as we go along. So now, if you examine what we have, then you'll see that the uh, turtle starts out at the origin. So somehow we have to move it over to one of those four locations before we can start drawing. So we want to move the turtle over to one of those corners, and we want to do so without drawing anything. So that means when we start at the home, then we're going to need to have the pin up while we're moving the turtle. So then we can move the turtle over to a position and then we can begin to draw. So we can move it forward, and then we can turn it, we can draw a circle, we can move forward and just move around and trace out the square that we see here. Now, as we begin to work through this, I'm going to need to show you each of the steps. So I'm going to be erasing what you see on the screen here, and we'll be looking at a blank screen, and then we'll build up the square as we go. So the first thing that I will do is I'm just going to bring in this empty program and it doesn't have anything in it so far. So I'm just going to uh, run this program. We'll run it and we'll save it. And as you can see, we end up with a blank screen. All right, so we have our blank screen 
and this is where we're going to draw our square. Now let's begin. We know that we have our turtle at the beginning, and uh, at the, well, our turtle at the beginning is going to be at the origin. So we need to move it over to one of the sides. So let's uh, let's let's start out with some stuff here. Now remember, we can use t dot forward if we want to. Well, if we want to move it, instead of writing out turtle each time, and we can specify um, how many pixels we want it to go. But if I do this now, then I'm going to draw a line from the origin as we move out towards the side, and I don't want that. So I don't want to do a forward just yet. The first thing I want to do is make sure we raise the pin. Okay, so I don't want to draw just yet. So we'll raise the pin, then we will move the turtle. So now we can move it. So T forward, and the center is going to be 200 pixels away from the sides. So I want to move it forward 200. Okay, so now that will move our turtle over to the right side, and it'll be midway between the uh, dots or the circles I want to draw. So let's move it upward. So let's turn to the right, turn to the right by 90, and then let's move forward by another 200. Right now, in order to see if this works, let's go ahead and run the program at this at this point. Okay, so if we move this over, then you can see that here's the origin in the center, but we have moved our turtle over to the right by 200, and that's at the middle point. Then we've moved it down, so currently the turtle is positioned where we want the first circle to be drawn. Okay, so let's stop that and let's continue with the program. Now we're ready to draw, so we need to do the pin down. So that will let us draw, and if you want to make the lines a little thicker, then we can also do that. So Let's make our pin size a little larger, just a little bit larger, make it two. And then if you wanted to change color, you could as well, but we'll just keep it black for the time being. So now, where are we? The turtle is over on the right-hand side, and it's down 200. So now, let's draw a circle. So we do T dot and a DOT. That's the command to draw a solid circle. and we should have 50 pixels in diameter according to our instructions. So we'll draw the circle. Now, let's see what we get. So here's the first circle. So now we have drawn this, and we have to remember which way we have the turtle pointing at this, at this point in our program. So we moved it down, we turned right here, then we moved down and we've drawn the circle. Now we want to move over this way and move back in that direction. So if I turn the turtle by 90 degrees again, it'll be pointing over here towards the left. Then I can move it over and draw the second circle. So we have to remember each of these various steps, all the details. We have to turn it, we have to lower and raise the pin, all those things. We have to remember those. So let's do t dot right 90. So that will point the turtle towards the left. And then we want to move it 400. Okay, so 400 pixels. And then we want to draw another circle. So let's do a T dot 50. So this should draw the bottom part of our square. All right, so now we have it. So we, we uh, drew this dot, then we turned the turtle to move to the right. Well, we turned it 90 degrees to the right, which now it means it's pointed this way. We drew this 400, and then we drew the other circle. All right, now, which way is the turtle pointed? Well, it's still pointed this way, towards the left. We want it to point up, so we need to rotate it another 90 degrees. Okay, so now let's go back in here and let's do t dot right 90. Then we want to move forward again 400 pixels. So now it's pointed upward. So we can just uh, 
copy and paste this in here. Then we want to draw another dot, copy and paste. And this will give us the left side of our square. Okay, we'll run it. And the window pops up. And now you see we have the left side of the square finished. The turtle is pointing upward, remember that. So now we want to move it to point towards the right so it moves forward from left to right. So we need to rotate again the turtle. So we'll rotate it one more time. So we'll turn it to the right. Okay, copy and paste. Then we want to move it forward 400. Yeah, we want to do that. And we also, once we've moved it forward, we want to draw another circle. So I can copy both of those and paste them. So here we move to the right, and we turn it to the right, move 400, and draw a circle. That gives us the top part of the square. So now you can see we have three of the sides. The only thing left to do is to connect the right-hand side. So we just need to move the turtle from the top down to the bottom. And it's pointing this way. It's pointing towards the right, so we have to rotate it again. We have to do a um, turtle right 90 and then move it ahead 400, and we'll be done. Okay, so we go back to our program, and we can just get these two commands. We want to turn it right and move it forward. So I'll copy and paste. And I don't need to draw the circle again because it's already there. So this will complete the square. So I'll run. OK. And you can watch it draw it out. So there, we have uh, completed the square. That was our objective in this little, bit, little uh, program example. And that was pretty easy to do, but Remember, keep in mind that you have to keep up with all of the steps that you need. You know, the pin up, the pin down, make sure you rotate it every time. You have to keep in mind which way the turtle is pointed, and then so on. All right. Now let's look at a different way to do the same thing, and this is a little bit simpler. If you look at the summary of commands that I've shown you in this example, there's one we didn't use yet, and that's called go to. So if you specify an X and Y coordinate, then you can send the turtle over to that position and uh, you know draw whatever kind of figure that you want. So you can go by coordinates instead of just moving it forward and backward if you want to. So let's look at that. So down here, we'll do the square with the in a different way. To do that, we need to erase what we have just finished. So let's send the turtle home, see t.home. Okay, now let's erase everything, so t dot clear, that'll clear everything out. Then we want to begin drawing, but let's change the color so we can really see that it's a, a different version here. So let's do uh, t dot pen color, and when you're specifying color, it's just double quote the name of the color and a double quote close paren. Now, since we're moving the turtle from the origin out to some location. I don't want to draw on the way out, so I'm going to do a T dot pin up. Then we're ready to go to one of the corners of the square and begin drawing. We can use go to for that, T dot go to. And let's just go up to the upper right hand side and we specify X is 200 and Y is 200. And then the turtle will go there. Now we haven't drawn anything yet. We're ready to draw, so let's do a pin down. And since we're at the upper right-hand corner, let's go ahead and draw the uh, circle. And it's a solid, so it's uh, T dot 50. So we'll draw the circle over there. And then we can move to the next coordinate. So if we want to go around clockwise, we can move down. So we can just do a T dot go to, and then we can go down to the bottom right-hand side. So that's going to be X is still 200, but Y now is minus 200. So we'll move down there. And then we'll draw the dot again. Okay, so we'll just draw the, the dot down there. And then we proceed to the other two uh, corners that we need to draw. So I'll, let me just copy and paste this. We'll copy and I'll paste this here. So now um, we are ready to move along the bottom of the square. So we need to go to the negative quadrant. So we're going to minus 200x, minus 200y. 
and it will draw the dot over there. So that's the, the lower left side of the square. Then we are going to move up. So I want to go up to a uh, negative x 200, but a positive y 200. That's the upper left-hand corner. We'll draw the dot. And that will have all four dots, but now we need to return to our beginning position. So we'll just do another go to, do a copy and paste here, and we'll go back to x200, y200, and then we'll be done. So that's a neat way that you can go about drawing as well. Let's run it and see what the uh, result is. So we'll run it, we'll save the file, and when this pops up, okay, we're drawing the black square first, then we erase it, and then we draw it in blue. So there's another technique that you can use, and there are uh, many different ways that you can go about um, drawing with Turtle Graphics. This uh, shows you a beginning summary of the, of the various commands, and you can do quite a bit with those. So you get the idea. In future videos, we'll do some more uh, uh, drawings with the Turtle Graphics as well as we'll look at some simple animations. All right, well, I think that does it. You get the idea for Total Graphics, so we will close the video at this point.